Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, and you probably know me as an intuitive healer and a coach, but I am also, <laughs> I am also a, an avid animal lover, a dog whisperer, a horse whisperer, a kitty whisperer, but that's not my that's not where my business is. I love animals. I um, have been given some beautiful gifts. <laughs> some beautiful gifts. Um, Percy is a, a magical kitty. Uh, he's, he's very needy, very codependent, um, a big old love. And um, <laughs> he, he's from Georgia. And... Um, you know, it's interesting because when he came to me, he was a kitten, and my dear friend Joanne had a, a litter of kittens. Well, she didn't, but her cat had a litter of kittens, and um, I ended up adopting Percy and another, and um, they actually rode under the wheel well in her car, and he, on one 22-mile drive, in California across the desert he was in my engine <laughs> and when I got out to let my daughter off to school he was underneath the hood so Percy's a magical kitty he's really wonderful but I also I also want to talk to you about Yoda so one day you know as an intuitive things happen where I get guidance to do certain things and I was guided to take my daughter out to brunch this particular day. It was um, in the fall, and we were living in the desert, and um, I really was not in the mode to go out to brunch, but I, I did as I was guided because I listened to my guidance. And so after brunch, we drove out the back exit, and there was this little dog. He was a puppy at the time. He's full grown now, but he was a puppy and he was probably about six weeks old, seven weeks old, maybe. And he's just wandering along the sandy lane out in the desert. And at the time, I was thinking, you know, my last child was about to graduate. She was five months from graduation. And I'm thinking, why, God? Why now? Why am I getting this dog now? I hear in my head, pick him up. So we did. We picked him up, and I had Ariel walk him around the corner to see where he came from and who owned him and the couple that that had a whole litter of these little puppies had no mommy for the dogs and she goes just take him just take him so we did and Yoda <laughs> this is Yoda <laughs> he's very shy he's camera shy right now but he was just at the hairdresser with me and my hairdresser is an artist Thomas Hardcastle he's a very uh, a well-renowned artist in Ojai. Uh, he was jumping up and down in the salon while Yoda was jumping up and down with him. He's a very special little doggy, aren't you? So the reason I'm here with Yoda and soon McGillicuddy, he's going to join us in a minute, uh, is to let you know that sometimes we're not in a relationship. We're not with a partner and animals come into our lives to teach us about love and about loving and about connection, loyalty, <laughs> faith, uh, responsibility, of course, too, uh, but so much about love. And animals can help us heal. Uh, mine have certainly helped me heal. Lydia, and I've got a video if you, if you Google, Lydia the Magic Cat. Lydia used to lay on my desk when I was doing energy clearings. I was doing Back then, I was doing 18 a day, if you can imagine. I, I don't know how I did it. But she would lay on my desk, and she would do Reiki. There's a video of Lydia doing Reiki. She would do it to open the door. She was a magical kitty, for sure. So here's the thing about pets. They have, they have no filter. They, they love us unconditionally. They don't have programs and patterns that are running around in their brains saying, no, he hurt me before, I'm not talking to him. No, they're so forgiving. They are endlessly loving and accepting of us 
with all our flaws and faults. And oh, <laughs> and we of, often have, when I'm doing videos, I get hummingbirds and, and other critters come in. So here's the thing. The higher our vibration gets, the more that we're able to hear what the animals are saying and we can communicate with them. A lot of intuitives can do multiple things. They can be a medium. They can be an animal communicator. But like I said, that's not where my business is. This is where my heart is with my animals. I love them so much. I'm going to put Yoda back. Oh, no, you want to be back here. Okay. So what I'll tell you about Yoda is he is um, the basis of a, uh, a collection of children's books that I am currently working on. All true stories, right, buddy? Because he's quite an adventurer, and he has a special purpose. Yoda's purpose is to make people happy, and he knows what his purpose is. Everywhere he goes, people stop, they look at him, and they smile. Everywhere I go with this little dog, people smile. And I've had people stop on the beach and say, oh my gosh, he's so cute, he's so adorable. And they, their frown turns into a smile. He lights people's lives up. And so that is his purpose, is to make people happy. And you know, you'll see him in my videos, running around, chasing balls, but he's the happiest little, little guy. So I'm very grateful to have him. The other thing that I wanted to tell you about is, um, and I have another video. Oh, he does not want me to put him down. He's staying on video with me. Uh, the other thing that I have done is listen. <laughs> Didn't always listen to that intuition, but there was a time uh, when I was um, out in the desert with my two dogs then, Karma and Yoda, and I got guidance to go down this particular road. And so basically the guidance was go back to where you were on Wednesday. And I couldn't remember. I said, well, I don't know where I was on Wednesday. I don't remember. And so the instructions were go left and then turn down the first lane. Out in the desert, there are all kinds of sandy lanes. Literally, the roads are all sand. And so I did that. And as I'm walking down this sandy lane <laughs> with my two dogs, there's a box, which I didn't think much of. There's all sorts of trash in this particular area. And then I hear Mew, 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 as four little kittens. You remember those kitties? Uh, four little kitties came out of that wine box. Somebody had dumped an entire litter of one week old kittens. And in the desert where it gets to be 110 degrees, they would not have lasted an entire day. They would have been gone, either eaten by coyotes or owls or something. So I took them all home and I bottle fed them for three months. And um, <laughs> When I tell this story, I usually say I nursed them because it felt like I was their mommy, and that's the way they thought of me. I gave the prettiest ones away, and I kept two, and uh, there is a, a video of Yoda wrestling with McGillicuddy. Um, so I had Osiris and McGillicuddy, and those cats are so loving because they've been bottle-fed. I don't know if he, you can see him in the background. He's behind me. So um, Osiris, unfortunately, got, got out a window when he wasn't supposed to, and he never came home, sadly. So that was before we moved to Ojai. And I did a video with McGillicuddy in that video and talking about loss and grief. And so when we really listen to our animals, they, they teach us about so many things. And if you've had trauma, if you've had abuse in your life, an animal can help you heal your heart. An animal can help you get over being emotionally unavailable. Lydia, the magic kitty that I told you about, and I'll post these videos, I'll let you see them, I'll, I'll post them in a bit. Um, Lydia kept showing me, excuse me, <clears throat> mm. 
Lydia kept showing me that I was emotionally unavailable. I wouldn't believe it, you know. I kept blaming. Have you ever done this where you point the finger at the other person? <laughs> you know? So um, <laughs> she kept pointing out to me that I was emotionally unavailable and I was in denial, which I'm sure you've never been in denial. And I'm not talking about the river in Egypt. I'm talking about being in denial of our issues. And, and you know, sometimes it's really hard to admit to ourselves that we have these things. And for most people, you know, you'll have them forever unless you hire a coach to help you get over them. And so what I will say is softening our hearts, being kinder to ourselves, we will do so when we have animals. Animals will warm your heart. They will soothe the loneliness if you feel lonely. They will fill a void in, in, in your soul that, that needs to be filled. So I highly recommend a dog for healing. Of course, it's a commitment. It's a commitment like any relationship because they need to be walked. They need to be fed. They, they need to be cared for. They need attention. A dog or cat can help you overcome a lot. Okay, so let me just see. Do we have any questions? There's one behind you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's McGillicuddy. Come here, buddy. Kitty, kitty, kitty. McGillicuddy he may show up again. It is like Wild Kingdom here. Absolutely. So when you see that video of me, hold, I'm holding the four kittens in my arms and they're just all over me. When I was bottle feeding them, they'd climb up my legs. And it was in the summer, very hot, claws <laughs> extended, climbing up my legs. And my hand was like a pin cushion. They would stick their claws in my thumb and uh, when I was uh, bottle feeding them, they were all so hungry and and of course because They were left in the desert and and neglected and starving uh, That's they were really really hungry for quite some time and very food obsessed <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about about uh, commitment so um, a lot of us that have had challenges in the past with trauma. Maybe a narcissistic parent like I've had. It may be really hard for you to really deeply bond with someone or be committed all in like a poker game. And when I'm talking about all in, that means not looking out there for somebody better because that happens when we don't feel enough ourselves this is, this is a really big point. When we don't feel enough ourselves, then we are constantly looking for something better because we don't trust ourselves and, and we're never satisfied with what we have. So I work with people that have this undercurrent of not being good enough, not feeling enough, and what it, it manifests as I don't like my house. I should be in a bigger house. I shouldn't be in a townhouse. I should be in something more grand. I should have had more than one child. I'm not happy with my husband. You see how when we feel like we are not enough, then everything in our life isn't good enough. And so when we heal ourselves, all of a sudden, all those other things that we thought were not great are not good enough, they suddenly become not only good enough, but wonderful. Okay, so sending you love. This is uh, the eve before Valentine's Day. Love can come from so many places. But the truth is, until we completely love and accept ourselves, we can't receive love from anyone else. And we sure won't believe someone when they tell us that they love us. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Be the best love of your life and then you'll never be alone.
sending you lots of love. Thank you so much for watching. And from my heart and Yoda's heart to you, have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Whether you are alone or coupled, it's all good. Thanks for watching.